welcome back programmers in the today's section i am going to show you a very interesting api its name is pivot kit so this is the official documentation and we are going to explore this now pivot kit is nothing but a whatsapp kit it means it gives us a little bit permission to do uh, some things with whatsapp it's a powerful whatsapp automation library with many useful features so obviously we have to install it so pip install pivot kit is the command and just go on your terminal and paste it and hit enter it will automatically install it so let's try it it will take a few minutes till then just watch movie or something currently now i'm watching the south park and I, it's it's best okay it's done so okay that's it okay so first of all we obviously going to import the pivot kit let's try it if it's working or not let's save it and run it it is taking a little time but yes it's perfectly working now with this api we can send the message and uh, in a simple way we can automate all of the whatsapp functionality so let's try the first thing so for sending the message we are going to use the pivot kit let me change this as pw and i'm going to use the pw because pivot kit is a too much bigger name so in here i'm just importing pivot kit as the pw and pw dot send what message so this is the phone number which you want to send and this is the text whatever you text you know write it in here and let me save now it will not work now because we have to register our phone number or something now let's see what error we get so in here we got in eight seven double five second whatsapp will open and after 15 second message will be delivered okay so i changed the time and whatsapp just opened so now this time what i'm simply doing is that i am using the different number and this is nothing but the hour and minute so currently it's 11 8 now i put the time at 11 9 so let's quickly run it so let's run this oops again save and run so it will take 23 seconds so let's just wait okay now it just opened now it is asking me to log in to the whatsapp web so let me just quickly log in okay so now i'm successfully logged in so now let's try it again obviously so this time i'm using my friend's uh, whatsapp to send some message so uh, his name is shubham khatri so let's send some message to him so obviously i'm going to put a number of my friend in here and this time i'm going to write subscribe aioc then in bold text sub okay that's my text so now the time is 11 11 so let me just write 11 12 save it let's uh, clear this screen and now let's run it it will only take around 20 second okay it just opened it now let's see how this works so it's connecting i'm i'm making sure that oh starting chat oh damn it but it didn't send it why the hell it didn't send it it just wrote the text it in here but it didn't send it so let's try it again let me close this whatsapp because it open a new tab every time so this time it's 11 14 so let me write 15 save it and let's just run it okay it opened it again so let it load it's not sending the text it's just writing the text in here so oh no 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 it just sent the text yes it's perfectly working wow wow it's awesome yes it just sent the text i will uh you have to wait for a, a few seconds okay so it's just sent the text automatically i didn't hit the enter button so yes it's perfectly working so this is the one feature which you can use to send the whatsapp message now let's use the another feature now even you can use this send whatsapp message but you can pass a few more arguments 
like same as above but close the tab in two second after sending the message so i think this is cool i think this 15 is millisecond and this true means close the tab and two means two second after two second close the tab so let's try this too so let me just uh, copy this line and paste it in here so i'm just gonna pass the now uh, i'm gonna change the time it's 11 16 so obviously i'm going to pass 11 17 and i think in here i'm going to pass zero save it and let's run it so yes it's uh, after nine seconds it will work so let's just hold on for a moment yes it opened so now let's see if it's sending the text and closing the tab a tab after two second okay so let me just uh see if it automatically send the text just wait for now so i'm waiting i'm waiting but it's not happening i don't know why i think another whatsapp is open that's why i'm not sure i'm not sure why so let me run it again leave it uh and let's run it again and this time i'm going to pass the 18 11 18 so after nine seconds let's just wait one two three and so on so let's just wait okay it opened now let's see if it really works or not okay starting chat it wrote but why it isn't sending it okay um let's just wait for a few seconds oh damn it it worked it just sent the message and closed the tab and this is the last time i'm using this now in the last time let's see if it works or not if it still works or not let me change the text so now let's run it it will take 24 second okay it opened now let's see if it sent the message connecting organizing message and starting chat and boom it sent the message and close the tab damn it worked perfectly so this is how you can send the message using this send what message using pivot kit so let me comment it okay so this is the one functionality which you can use now even you can send the message to the group uh, you you have to just use the send what message to group and then group ID and then whatever message Now you can even send the whatsapp image. Wow, that's interesting So you have just uh, you just have to use the send what image then whatever text then image and okay Sorry, this is the group text and then image and if you want to just send it to a particular number and then uh, whatever image you wanna send it from your local image now even you can use this send whatsapp message instantly now you can just use this send what message to group instantly and you can use this uh, code you just have to write the group id and then whatever text you wanna send instantly and that's it that's how you can use the whatsapp api so now let's use another functionality now this time we are going to play an youtube video so if you write pw.play on yt and write whatever text you want for a particular video and run it it will play a random video of that particular search so obviously let's run it so let me just run the code and let's see how this works okay just open the youtube and oh how am i creating a live project this is my video so as you can see just opened the video from aoc all in one code how am I creating a live project which will help a lots of people live project AOC and this is my channel so yes it perfectly worked here this time let me change it to only AIOC save it and let's run it okay it opened it again and this time it opened AOC 2022 um that's that's not what i wanted but it worked means it opened a youtube video okay now even you can search a particular keyword from google 
using the pivot kit so now let's try to search it just replace the function with the search s e a r c h if you save it and search it it will search that particular keyword on the google so now let's see if it's work yes yes we got the a i o c damn it again not what i wanted but let me try a i o c then all in one and code save it and let's run it Okay, it opened it. Oh, damn! I got the IOC all in one code search in the Google. So, yes, it's perfectly working, means no doubt here. It's perfectly working. So, this is how you can search a particular keyword on the Google using Pivot Kit. Now, if you want, if you replace the search with the info, so let me just show you. If you just replace it with the info and run it, it will ask us the page id means page line so if i write lines equal to four and run it so it will give me the fourth search option in the from the google so let me just change the text it didn't work i don't know why google is not working okay i, I suppose we have to um, add some new text in here so let me try gaming save it and okay as you can see we got all of the um data so this is the fourth line and we got the wikipedia gambling role playing gamer and so all of the tags it means it is giving me the info so the truth is i didn't like all of the functionality except the whatsapp functionality so i suppose you liked it too so that is it for today's guys in this video we just learned about the awesome functionality awesome api pivot kit with the use of this kit you can uh, you can do a lots of interesting interesting stuff now even you can create your own program uh, to automate your whatsapp uh, messages so that is it for today's guys see you guys in the next video till then just code